Coming up this week on Ralph and Vicky's Archer's Choice. I don't care if the world record is right on the other side of that ditch. This is why we do what we do. And I gotta, I gotta be with her. Archer's choice. I'm not sure what you're doing. You I watched Karate me. Kid the other night. Oh my gosh. I was like into it. Anyways, now. this is we're going back to Colorado to hunt and mule deer with Fred Michelle Eichler, full draw outfitters. Not really sure what this is about right now. Yeah, so that's from hanging just... with Fred. He gets you in your head and you're like, you do the craziest things. He does do some crazy things. Fred. He does. Fred. Definitely crazy. Week, Lots to show. Week with two, him. Colorado. You're yeah. shutting down that state with us for. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what was really fun down what there was, too? What? Just a segment here, real quickly, is me trying to teach Fred how to use Snapchat. Oh my gosh, it was hysterical. There was a lot of bleeping going on. <laughs> so funny. I don't know what the. Di- uh, yeah, I won't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> I don't even do it though. I know. I hate that. You should. Stuff. We should make no. you a little bit emoji. No, I am a bit of emoji. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit emoji. You're a bit of emoji. I'm a bit of emoji. <laughs> The hunt continues with Fred and Michelle Eichler at Full Draw Outfitters in scenic Southern Colorado. Full Draw Outfitters provides high quality guided and non-guided hunts for Colorado big game. Conducted in the high country and Eastern Plains, this late season hunt has the mule deer on their feet with the rut just kicking in. Earlier in the hunt, Vicki had two mature bucks pass by the stand the first was out of range, and the second one busted her. Back. 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 Ralph, on the other hand, was busted in the final stage of a long spot and stalk. With such close calls, Ralph and Vicky are optimistic to continue the hunt, hopefully to fill their tags. So this morning we're going back to the same tree. We took everything down because we didn't know if maybe we'd switch it up because we've seen deer in our stand. And Ralph has seen deer, but they've been pretty far out, so we were going to try switching it up. But Ralph left all of his stuff in his tree. So we're going to go back to my tree and maybe actually tag a buck out this morning instead of watching one walk by and then going back on one today. We've gotten all the preview stuff done. Now we just need to go ahead and kill one. <laughs> Is that correct, sir? I didn't hear. I said, I, I have everything, I have everything. I have a deer walking by us, beautiful footage. <laughs> I have a deer come by, I drew back on him, and he ran away. Today, we just got to tag him. Today's the day. Well, it's day three here at Full Draw Outfitters with Fred and Michelle Eichler. We've seen some good deer. I got drawn back on a good buck. He busted me. The sun is just coming up, and there's 20 something deer out in that green field already. Almost like we left them there last night and they're still there, but they actually just came back out. There's at least three good bucks in that field right now, possibly four. So um, we're gonna maybe try doing some rattling, see if we can get, we saw a couple sparring last night over there. Maybe do a little bit of rattling, do a little bit of calling. The breeze is pretty chilly and it's coming into our face this morning. It's cold, I just took my other coat off because it's. I need to be able to move and get my bow back, but still, there's a lot of deer out in that field already. Dang. Mm. 
I mean, we were, we're sitting all day sits. We're not going back in. We have lunches packed, and we're going to yeah. sit all day. Fred's like, guys, you got to understand, it's the rut. And it's the same thing at home. Absolutely. The movement's on. I mean, you, you're not going to get him in camp. No. Fred decided that we needed to move in the middle of the day, so that's what we did. He set up this dance set really quick. Ralph got moved as well. We're going to keep our fingers crossed that this works tonight. I'm going to do my best not to draw early or get busted. And we're just going to see what happens. That sun's going to kill us, though. That's going to be a hard thing, trying not to move too quickly so that they don't get spooked. So Fred decided that we're going to move up closer into this food. So we went and we sat it after the morning hunt. We went, we got the stand set up. He set up the stand. He didn't want us out. He didn't want our scent anywhere. So he got the stand set up. We got up in it. And I kid you not, I mean, it was like lunchtime. And oh. then all of a sudden, seriously, like an hour later, we had a good buck come by us. You know, I, I think one of the coolest things, and that is when we're hunting like we were, yeah, that we got our binos and we're watching each other. And yeah. it's, it is the, my adrenaline is going crazy because I'm watching either my wife or my son and we're watching this and this is gonna happen. And you're watching the buck you're watching, and they're coming in and you, oh, and I mean, I'm shaking, I'm nervous. Chad's telling me, would you calm down? I mean, you're I'm, shaking not, the tree. I'm not even hunting. I'm, I mean, I'm not, I don't even have the, the, the thing going on, but I'm right in it. I'm watching it excited and pumped up. What happened? I missed. He had like 25 yards. But. Didn't that call a it chip shot? I hit a branch. A chip shot? I hit a you branch. heard of that? I hit a branch. Oh. And then it landed between his legs and it went down. I just thought I dropped my arm and then we got back and found out I actually hit a branch. I don't even remember the branch. Ooh. Been there, done it. First morning we have a beautiful buck, he's too far. Yep. Second morning I go out and there's, you know, this buck and he come through, he busts me drawing. Third buck comes by the next day. I know, I was like, bam, bam, bam. Draw back, You shoot, were just having branch, all these opportunities. It, have all these opportunities and messed up all of them. All of them. As the afternoon turns into evening, Vicky sees a host of deer pass through the field. Unfortunately, they are all out of range, but provide quite a sight to see. Back at the lodge, a hearty meal of fresh elk and antelope awaits the hungry crew. And we had a blast with Fred and Michelle, huh? We did. We have known them forever. Fred actually came and set up the dart system in our archery pro shop in the in the early 90s. Yeah, it's a long time. So I mean, we've we've known them forever, and this yep. is actually the first time that we got to share a camp yeah. with them. Yeah, so, which was I mean, really cool. We were pretty excited. And about I can it. tell you, there's going to be a whole lot more sharing. Absolutely. Or he had a blast. Fred has decided he's going to move us, Kenneth and I, closer to that field. Yep. And to you guys are going to hang out back where we were. Yep. Right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. You know, and, and I mean, where you were was, you know, at a really great pinpoint location. Even though you're in the middle of, of a lot of just a dang flat valley. 
Right. But, you know, the contours of the land, the contours of the brush create structure and, and drive the, that movement in different, you know, in, yep. in waves. And you were in a good spot and we got in there and sure enough, we had deer right there. It was, we were in a perfect spot and, you know, that buck, come, he was starting to come and come closer and closer. I, my heart started getting pumping more and, and then he just did what he did. He turned and, and walked away, but it was an awesome experience. We had all these deer I drew on the, on the small little aggressive guy. I mean, we could have shot him, no doubt. <laughs> In that tree stand also, I know when we sat there, it's crazy cause that brush, it doesn't look as thick as it is. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. where, where you're sitting there and you don't see anything and then all of a sudden a buck pops out from behind a brush. Yeah. You know, and you just keep glassing and you try to see him and then all of a sudden you may see a flicker of an ear and they're there. It's like those birds that, uh, you know, your hair, I, I, you don't see anything and then all of a sudden a bird flies out of that nest and I'm like, whoa, then a chipmunk, <laughs> then a woodchuck and then possibly, you know, a couple squirrels and... Like my yep. hair. <laughs> oh my gosh. The very last morning of the hunt, which always sounds like such a cliche. It's the last morning, it's uh -huh. the last day, and it was. It was. And we were sitting there in the stand and there's a buck coming out from behind us and I'm watching him. And I actually, I told Kenneth, because the way the sun was shining, it was shining straight on us. We weren't silhouetted, but we were definitely but you're in the shining sunlight. in the sunlight. And Kenneth is facing away from this buck that's walking in, that's walking from behind us. And I'm watching him as I'm leaning up against a tree. And I said to Kenneth, I go, do not turn, do not move. We will wait for this buck to get past us before we film. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't want to mess up again. No. Nope. I mean, I've had enough mess ups this week. She's shaking. She's shaking. She's shaking. Oh, please. He's going down. Oh! Oh! Look at him. He's down. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord. When I took the shot and it ran off and I watched it jump the fence and go fall down in the CRP next to us, I let out a hoot. Whoa! <laughs> oh. And you made it work. And we made it work. I mean, seriously, sometimes it's just meant to happen. And you know what? God shined down on us that day. I could just cry. It's the whole last morning. Fred and Michelle let us stay an extra day and a half. My phone is ringing right now in my pocket because it's probably my husband. It is. I can't, my finger won't answer. Did you Hello? get him? Did you get I him? I did, he's, he's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Oh. He's down in the CRP behind me. Thank you, Lord. I told Kenneth the whole time, I'm like, Kenneth, he's, he's just, the sun is straight behind him. Do not move. I don't care if we don't get any pretty well. I'm like, don't move. Let him come. And he gets, Ralph, there's another buck in this field behind us. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, um, listen, I think Fred's trying to call me right now too, so. Okay. Okay. Tell okay, we're, to we're, co love you. we're coming, we're coming to you. Okay, come across the field. Love you. Bye. Bye. Listen, don't get me wrong. I want to still hunt. 
But my wife just shot a mule deer, and, and I, and we watched it. We watched it from here. I, I gotta go, I gotta go. I don't care if the world record is right on the other side of that ditch. This is why we do what we do. And I gotta, I gotta be with her. Previously on Archer's Choice, Vicky took a shot at a bruiser of a mule deer and watched it go down in the CRP field behind her. Both Fred and Ralph are now on their way to the stand to start tracking. That ain't a pump. That ain't a pump for me. That's a pump for my wife. Oh, yes. Blood right here. Look at here, he stumbled. Do, 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 do. Lots of blood. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I told you there was blood. <laughs> blood. 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 Here's blood. Here. He's right there. <laughs> oh, told you it's kind of high and in. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Look oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at him. I can't get him to sit up. Big, big old body. Ball. Big old. See, I thought it was a three by. I didn't see that other one. So big muley buck. <laughs> Last morning here in full draw outfitters. Good job. And it worked. <laughs> Good job. Thank you, Jeff. No, that's a beautiful Jeb, meal, dear. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> Honey, thanks yeah. for giving up your... <laughs> The rest of your morning hey, hunt for honey, me. It's well worth it. <laughs> well worth it. Love you. He is beautiful. Big beautiful. mature animal. And look at the body on him. I know. Yep. Look at it looks like he's been running kind of hard though. He <laughs> looks a little. <laughs> he's beautiful. He is beautiful. Chocolate crack. Just beautiful. Last morning, he's been fighting. You know, and we say that a lot, and I'll tell you why. And Fred will, Fred will attest to it. Is that's when it happens, is if you don't give up, you just keep going and going. One more and then try. all of a sudden, just out of the clear blue, huh? Yep. That last day, and, and I know we, everybody plays up on it. Oh, the last morning, last hour, and, but a lot of times that's the truth. Now, maybe somebody tells you different, but the, the reality of it is, is we are actually, I mean, we're leaving tomorrow. We got a bunch of, bunch of stuff to try to get done now this afternoon, and so He's we're ready. pretty much done. He's and ready. Uh, I gotta tell you, you know, for Vicky, she's had a hunt of a lifetime. Six days full from dark to dark. My body's like, okay, we well, can do it one more day. And that's all it took was half a day. Yeah. Not even, what time is it? What time was it when I shot? I, I don't even know. you were the other day. I really, both, both you and, and Kenneth, I gave him props for being in the stand right with you. You know, so mm -hmm. I say our guys are in there. But for, for you to sit in there on the dark, you know, and not, not lose, any yeah. enthusiasm, you know what I mean? No. You know, both of you guys, you were as happy getting in the tree stand in the morning as you were coming out every well, single well, day. And, and you don't know what can happen, and look what happened. I mean, it happened. Well, well congratulations. That Thank was you. really cool. And you know what really is, is awesome? What? Today, for many, it's about filling that tag. Yeah. And it's never been about that for us. You no, and you know, when I, sh when for whatever reason, you know, like you said, it, it was my day. That yes. buck came oh, out yeah. of nowhere. He did what everything that, I can't believe he did, how oh. he showed up, how he came out, where God he went. says, it's your day, it's your day. Yeah. I mean, it was just, it happened. We watched him run over, and then I didn't see him anymore. He fell over in that CRP grass. And I hollered, and then I heard you holler, and I heard Fred holler, and Fred's like a mile and a half from us. Well, we were stalking you were the in drainage. That drainage. Yeah, they were up there glassing, and Everyone I mean, it just watched it. It was so cool. It's the camaraderie. Yeah. It's the fun. The excitement. The memories. It's the ups, the downs. Yeah. Fred, Michelle. I mean, the Eichlers. Bottom line, we had a blast, and we are, yeah, going back. Thank you guys so much for having us out there, full draw outfitters. And you know what? This was just—it was great to share camp with them, and just. 
the whole thing was awesome. We love you guys. And, yep. and uh, I'm going to tell you, if you're looking to go out west, you, you, you got to give them a holler. Yeah. So we'll see you next week. Same time. Same channel. Right here on The Archer's Choice. With Ralph. And Vicky. <laughs>